If these walls could talk, they would tell of the commitment to pediatric cardiac care that the physicians and staff have made at the Heart Center at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC. They would tell the stories of the many children whose lives were saved by the expertise of these pediatric heart specialists. If these walls could talk, they would tell of the parents who trusted their most precious gifts to some of the most skilled pediatric cardiologists, surgeons, anesthesiologists, nurses, and technicians in the world. And they would tell of the reasons why so many pediatric heart specialists from across the country have chosen to practice at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. I remember my first day in the pediatric rotation uh, doing cardiothoracic surgery. And, and after that first day at work, I realized that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Basically, you shouldn't be in a job that you can't wake up at three in the morning and do with passion. And that's how I, I function. I, I, I love to come in in the morning. It's not, and my job here is interesting. I'm both a pediatric cardiologist, so I take care of kids with heart conditions, but I also oversee the practice of cardiology in the heart center, and I get to make uh, decisions that help more kids get better care, and that's, that's a very easy thing for me to do. One of the strengths of our program is that there are no weak areas, so there are no holes in that program, there are no areas where we can't provide the best care with the best physicians. This field is grown so fast that really is a significant challenge for us but obligate us to improve and read and investigate how can we do this better every day. We have physicians from across the country. Many, many centers are just physicians that have grown up within their own institution. We have the ability to bring the experience of many physicians who have practiced in Los Angeles, Texas, Michigan, Washington DC, Denver, and Pittsburgh. And I think that helps deliver the best care to children. If these walls could talk, they would tell of the evolution of pediatric cardiac care where common heart problems may not require complex solutions. Instead, a variety of diagnostic and therapeutic treatments utilizing advanced technology and state-of-the-art equipment can be used to determine the least invasive methods to help sick children get well. They would tell of a team approach where true collaboration yields the best treatment options for each child. From our cardiac catheterization laboratory, where hearts and arteries are repaired using the latest minimally invasive techniques to other diagnostic alternatives, such as non-invasive imaging technologies and stress tests. And as they grow, children can expect a lifetime of comprehensive care through our ongoing cardiac and adult congenital care programs. One of the things that sets us apart is the fact that we have a, a real complete program in the sense that we can do the simplest operation in the world and we can do the most complex operation in the world. There are very few programs in the country that offer from closure of an atrioseptal defect to uh, double lung transplantation to heart transplantation to the uh, placement of a ventricular assist device. Interventional cardiology is a subspecialty within pediatric cardiology where what we do is actually fix problems in the heart doing it minimally invasive through an IV that's placed in the groin or other, in other places of, of the body. Sometimes we do it from the neck or in one of the veins in the shoulder. And through that IV, uh, we're going to advance and place a catheter inside the heart, and through that catheter, we're going to be closing, for instance, a heart defect or opening a vessel that's too narrow. So fixing the problem the child has in the heart without actually having to do an open heart procedure. Every nervous parent always wants to make sure that their children are being cared for by the best. And I believe that our group of cardiac anesthesiologists are the best in the business. Um, many of us have done thousands of cases over the course of our careers and that there is nothing that we haven't seen uh, or uh, nothing that we can't handle. 
Some children may have a transient form of heart failure which can recover on its own, but they need to be supported while their heart's recovering. So for example, if you have a severe viral infection of the heart, what we call myocarditis, your heart may fail to the point that it can't sustain life. And yet we know that those children will often recover in one to two weeks. So the ability to support the circulation and support the heart until recovery is life-saving for some children. In the traditional way of doing cardiac anesthesia, you give a lot of anesthesia and it takes the patient hours to days to wake up. Our approach here has been one of as long as the patient is physiologically stable, there is no really good reason to keep them asleep. It increases the risks of complication by having to provide the sedation and being on a ventilator and it delays their recovery by mobilizing them sooner and getting them up and about sooner, we actually uh, decrease their length of stay and uh, get them on the road to recovery faster. There is clearly a lot of emotion going on and we take care of very sick kids and sometimes you know, my eyes fill with tears too. I have kids of my own and we get very attached to families. When the parents arrive into the intensive care unit, they're very stressed, they're afraid that the child will die. And I believe if we provide the support at any time during this disease and bring an optimistic approach, even though that we are in difficult situations, they feel that all of us, including the parents, we have the same goal. The child must get better. If these walls could talk, they would tell how our doctor's expertise doesn't just enable them to save the lives of children, but to improve the quality of their lives as well. They would tell of the cutting edge research being done here by physicians who are leaders in developing the next generation of pediatric ventricular assist devices that buy precious time for children waiting for heart transplants. From the operating room to our cardiac intensive care unit with its own highly trained and fully dedicated staff, we can provide the best of care for any child at any age with any cardiopulmonary condition. If these walls could talk, they would tell how we give more families hope with our expertise in pediatric cardiac care, exceeded only by the compassion that our physicians and staff have for our patients. This creates a unique healing environment at the Heart Center so that children can go on to enjoy life far beyond these walls. <laughs>